Welcome friends. I hope you're all doing good today and I have something super yummy and super easy to share with you. So this is something you can make for lunch or for dinner. And I'm going to push that little happy toaster right back down. It's called tuna tempters and actually my husband loves these. He's the one that introduced me to them and of course he was just like plain Jane tuna tempter, right? But I like to kick mine up just a notch, as you know I like to do. So I'm adding vegetables to mine and a little bit of spice. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my tuna tempers. I just start with an English muffin. I toast it in the toaster and here I have two that I've already done, okay? So now I have three large cans of tuna in here. But again, depending on, let me check this toast. Perfect. Show you what I have to do. Yeah. yeah. Don't ever put a knife in a toaster <laughs> when it's plugged in. You did not see me do that. Now I have my two English muffins cut in half. I have three cans of tuna, as I said. But if it's just, if you're just making it for yourself or just two people, one can of tuna is plenty. But if you want extra so that you can make it to take for lunch or whatever, extra tuna, because this same mixture that I'm using makes a wonderful tuna fish sandwich on some nice soft white bread with some lettuce on it. Yummy. I have two stalks of celery that I peeled and chopped up. So I took the strings off of it. And I chopped it up, so that's just two stalks of celery. And then to that, I'm going to add some dill relish. And if you like sweet pickle relish, which I know a lot of people do, go ahead and use sweet pickle relish if you choose, but we like dill, okay? So I'm going to put, what, four teaspoons of dill relish in there, all right? And then... I've always said that Old Bay goes wonderful with any seafood, and it goes very good with tuna fish as well. So I'm just gonna shake some Old Bay in there just to give it a little spice. There we go. Alrighty, and then I'm just gonna kind of spread this out and mix this up. I'm just gonna chop up some red onion here to put in there as well. And if you don't like celery, or you don't like red onion, you don't, you don't have to put it in. So if there's any of the things that I'm putting in that you don't even like, then, you know, by all means, leave it out. You don't want to put it in there, okay? So let's just put our red onion in there. I think that might be enough. Oh, this onion smells so good. Okay, so let me just mix that up and make sure that that's enough onion. I like a lot of vegetables in my tuna. So I do add quite a bit. I'm going to add mayonnaise to the tuna. And I'll put two big tablespoons to start with. I use tuna packed in water versus oil, so that's just my preference. I know my daughters like to get the tuna from Trader Joe's that's packed in olive oil, which I didn't even know there was such a thing, but I mean, I knew there was tuna in oil, but not specifically olive oil, but I personally buy the tuna packed in water. Then all I'm gonna do is take my toasted English muffin and I'm gonna put my tuna right on top, just like so. And you wanna pack it up there just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and make another one. And I will tell you guys, these are actually filling. Like, you know, you might think, oh, well, I'll eat two because you know, it's one English muffin, right? What's the difference of just a sandwich? But I'll tell you, these are actually really filling. Uh, you could eat one and, and you would probably, I mean, of course, you know, my husband, no, he's going to eat two for sure, if not three of these. But they're pretty filling. It's amazing. 
and they're so good. Like they're really, really tasty. And it's just a quick little lunch or dinner that you can make and just, you know, have it with some potato chips and yum. Okay, so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some cheddar, mild cheddar cheese, and I'm just going to put a piece of cheese on top of each one. And then we're gonna pop these in the broiler until all this cheese is nice and bubbly and golden brown and it's gonna be delicious so into the broiler it goes this looks perfect out of the oven so again these have been broiling look at that does that not look amazing there goes one of my little chips. Look at that. So there's your tuna tempter, you guys. This is amazing. Whatever you do, don't burn your mouth though because this cheese is really, really hot. But give this a try. You guys are gonna love it. It's delicious. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.